ABCs of yoga for kids. Hi, everybody. I am so glad that you're here with me today. It is a beautiful sunny day and we are so lucky to be doing yoga out in nature. We can hear all these wonderful sounds. If we listen closely enough, we can even hear some birds. So let's get started. All right, so let's come down onto our knees and we're gonna start with the candle pose. So we're gonna bring our hands in prayer position in front of our heart and we're just gonna start to take some deep breaths in and out through our nose. So let's take a deep breath in through our nose and out through our nose. And again, let's do it again, in through our nose and out through your nose. So really when we do yoga, that's the way we wanna do. We wanna really stay calm and breathe in and out through our nose. That really helps to calm us down. And, and it transports us into our yoga practice where we start to really focus on ourselves and our breath. Okay, so now we're gonna come down on all fours and we're gonna be cows, all right? So we're gonna inhale and arch up. So inhale and look up. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna exhale and round our spine and pull your chin to your chest. Nice. So we're gonna inhale and arch up. Let's try it again, inhale and arch up. Good, and exhale and round. Okay, let's do it one more time. Inhale, and this time we're gonna say moo. So inhale and arch up, and if you're at home, you can say moo. Good, and exhale and round your spine. Nice job. All right, so from here, it's very simple. We're gonna be dogs. So let's tuck our toes, let's straighten our legs, and look down at your toes. And really relax your head. Nice job, you guys. Okay, stay there. I'm, I'm gonna come around and just stand up. So relax your head, good. Look down at your toes. And let's just hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now let's come back down onto our knees. So good. Okay, now we're gonna stand up and we're gonna do some standing poses. So this is an abbreviated routine that you guys can do all at home. You're gonna be doing it at school just for five minutes. So we're gonna start with the flamingo pose. Remember how we heard the birds? So let's be flamingos. Let's stand on one leg. So really tighten one leg and let's bring the other leg up. Now you know how flamingos are really steady standing on one leg? So let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then let's bring that leg down. Let's do the other side. So let's do it, let's go, and let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna be trees. Now look at the trees. Look, we are out in nature. I mean, it's beautiful outside. And so let's go and let's be trees. And let's really feel like we're grounded into the earth. I mean, we're so lucky we've got the earth, we've got the sky, we have everything here. So let's bring one leg up and let's bring our hands into prayer position. Nice, you guys are fabulous. Nice job. Good, okay. And now, if you're having trouble balancing at home or at school, don't worry about it. You can hold on to the desk, you can hold on to another person, you get better. And try to focus on something that's not moving. So let's hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful balance. Now that's one that actually helps with your concentration and focus. Okay, so let's try the other side because you really kind of focus to be able to do this. So let's try the other side. So we're just gonna stay here, standing up straight, grounding into the earth for five, four, three, two, one. And let's smile and have some fun. I mean, it's like fun to do this. I mean, we are so lucky we're having so much fun. All right, so the next pose we're gonna do, we're gonna do some back poses because we've kind of warmed ourselves up. So let's come onto our tummies and we're gonna be snakes, okay? So this is really good for your low spine. In fact, did you guys know that a healthy spine means a healthy nervous system? So you won't be stressed out. So let's bring our hands alongside our body. Sandra, let's do it. Okay, so inhale and come halfway up. So keep your elbows bent to your side. So don't straighten your arms. Elbows bent close to your side. Good, nice. Look forward and let's just hiss. Let's hiss like snakes. Go Good, and then come back down. It's really good. Now put your head down and look to the right. So just bring your head down and look to the right and just relax. All right, so we're just gonna relax here, head to the side, nice. And bring your hands down to the side of your body, good. So hands down to the side of your body so you're just relaxed. So you just bring your hands down there, perfect. And just relax there for a moment, take some deep breaths, nice. Okay, and then our hands need, gonna be on the side of our body, relaxed, good job, perfect. All right, now, from here, we're gonna do one more back bend. So we're gonna be rocking horses. So let's come back, put our chin on the floor, bend your knees. Good. 
And then from here, we're gonna bring our legs up off the ground and our chest and everything up, just as high as you can go. And we're gonna, we can even rock back and forth if you want. We're gonna be a rocking horse or you can stay still. Big smiles because it's so fun to stretch out our bodies and so good for us. This works every part of your spine, lower, middle, and upper back. Good. Oh yeah, it hurts a little bit. Come back down. Sometimes it may hurt a little bit because it's good for you. That means you're stretching areas that you don't usually stretch. Now put your head to the opposite side and just relax. Hands down, head down. Good. And hands alongside your body. Just relax. Good. And then from here, let's push ourselves back up and let's go into that mouse pose. So we're gonna stretch out our spine now that we've worked on it. So hands forward, forehead on the floor. Good. And just stay here. Good, perfect. Breathing, perfect. And all you, how are you all doing at home and at school? Are you guys enjoying it? It's really nice just to sit here and relax, take some deep breaths. Now from here, we're gonna come back up. We're gonna do our last pose. See how quickly that went and how easy it is to do these poses and we're stretching all the areas of our bodies. So let's do the pretzel pose. So we are gonna sit in the pretzel pose. Now pretzels are so yummy. I love pretzels. So let's bring one arm up, bring it across your body, other hand behind your back, and then look behind you. So look behind you opposite way. Look that way, good, perfect. And then you're gonna sit here and you're gonna, we're gonna count to eight. So let's count to eight. One, two, three, four, nice job. Five, keep on looking back. Six, how far you can look back, look the other way. Good, seven, perfect. Eight, and come back to center. And let's do the other side. So one arm up, good. And bring it across your body, so across your body. Good, and other hand behind your back. Perfect, and then look over your right shoulder. Good, nice. So this is really a good way to end your yoga practice right here with this pretzel pose because it twists across your body. So just do a nice twist for three, two, one. Good, and then come here. Now this is called easy pose here where we just breathe, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Nice. So the last pose we're gonna do is the do nothing pose. So we like to end our practice that way, this five minute routine that we're doing. So let's just come down onto our backs. Feet out, hands alongside your body. And then just close your eyes for a minute. And those of you at home, we might do a little shorter version of this here, but if you're at home, you can stay in this pose for up to two minutes or longer if you want, just to learn to relax, kind of assimilate everything that you've just done and just to get the practice going. I mean, it's really good. You'll feel so much better after doing this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna ring a little bell so you'll know at home uh, that you're done. So once you hear the bell ring, then you'll know it's time to get up. So we're just gonna relax here and just be still as a statue. It's just be calm, still. Just only thing that's happening is you're breathing in and out through your nose following my nice friends here who have done such a great job today. So I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute until the bell rings, let you relax. All right, ring, ring, ring. All right, so slowly come all the way up and let's all just end in easy pose. Now, so how do you feel? Okay, yeah, who else? How do you feel? I feel awesome. Good, and you know, how do you feel at home? I am so happy. You know, and did you have fun? Yeah. Okay, I had so much fun. I love teaching yoga, I love making it fun because it is fun, but it's also very relaxing at the same time. And do you know what I know is true? Being able to spend time with you today is so rewarding for me and to be able to teach you guys some simple techniques through yoga to help you relax and be calm and to help you in school and just in your life in general. So I'm really grateful for each and every one of you and I'll see you again soon. The ABC.